Down here at IRI, team number 930, the McGuanago Bears. I'm here with Nick and Everin. We're going to talk more about their incredible machine here on behind the bumper. So a few things we're going to be talking about is uh, their cargo intake, or I'm going to call it the wonky intake, but I know you got a, a nickname for that as well, too. Uh, we got an uh, awesome uh, hatch manipulator, a cool elevator, and we'll talk a little bit about their uh, season as well. Uh, so starting out, uh, I think we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, hatch intake. Who's going to cover that? Thank you. Um, yeah, if you'd like to close the... All right, so yeah, this year, here's our, our hatch intake. As we can see, it comes down like that. Now we kind of went with a beak style design. Um, and what that allows us to do is when we come up to the human player, human player station, we're able to auto center. So it, it, we're, if you'd like to actuate it, it will come and pull the hatch in very secure. It will not come out. Um, and then we're able to come up to the rocket, that's mainly what we do, and then release the hatch. And then those ejector pistons will shoot the hatch off and make sure it is stuck to the rocket. Okay. And obviously very effective uh, for this team as well this year. Uh, so we got, we got to talk about this is to me what always has stood out. And when I talk to people about 930, like, how the heck does this intake that moves so much be as impactful and effective as it is? So I want to hear more about this uh, incredible mechanism you have. All right, so this intake, we call it the floop take. Um, it's it's uh, made out of polycarb, so it's super duper flexible. Um, it can twist around and helps it conform to the cargo um, and keeps the pistons in line. Um, we have uh, the bevel gears in each one. It's driven by one motor and has rollers on all four sides, uh, which helps our driver have a lot of different options for uh, getting the cargo. And then um, if you want to bring it down, for our intaking, uh, we bring it like this, and it grabs the cargo, and then this is our position for scoring in the cargo ship, uh, where we outtake it. And then uh, for the level one rocket, uh, it goes down and up like this. Um, that's something that we added for Worlds, um, and allows us to uh, be a lot more effective on the field than we were prior to that. Um, yeah. Uh, another thing I know you guys want to talk about is your elevator this year and just the effectiveness that's had, so let's hear about that. Yeah, so here's our elevator, if you'd like to bring it up. So we have a slightly different design than most elevators you'll see out there. Um, we, we have these bearing blocks. Now these are made out of UHMW. We CNC machine these out of one solid chunk, and that, that allows us to have a very reliable elevator. We never damage these tubes, and it, we have a lot of surface area, which, which keeps, helps with side-to-side -side motion. So when we're up at the top level on the rocket, we can accurately place the cargo. Um, and then to drive the elevator, we this year we have about around 20 pounds of weight on the end of the elevator. So we have three 775 motors to tra chain drive the elevator, which is able to um, go from bottom to full rocket height in around three quarters of a second. And then as well, um, one thing that you'll notice about the elevator is we have these constant force springs. And because we have that full 20 pounds up there that we need to raise and lower in such a quick time, um, those help to um, even out the weight, basically make the, the elevator weightless to the gearbox. Um, so that, that's really what allows us to get maximum acceleration. And lastly, I want to wrap up with your uh, 930 uh, is a team that if you're from Wisconsin, you know decently well. But if you're not from the area, you might not have heard of these guys before this year. That's big reason is so this is your first blue banner in 15 years. Uh, it goes back to when I was in high school when they had their last uh, blue banner here. Uh, but this year, you guys went as far as any Wisconsin team has gone, tying uh, 2026 when they went uh, to Einstein finals in uh, 2015. But tell me about uh, first time getting on Einstein, just all the success you guys have had this year. What's changed? What has been that feeling? Uh, getting on the Einstein. So it's been a really monumental year for our team, obviously, uh, being the first year in 15 years uh, to get a Blue Banner. Uh, but what's really contributed to that is uh, we moved out of a uh, uh, church's basement into the local high school, which has given us a lot more machining capabilities than we had prior with the Haas CNC machine and laser and so forth. Um, and it's just been an amazing experience to go as far as we did. These were your world finalists this year. An absolutely fantastic season. Good luck during the rest of the competition. Can't wait to see what you guys do in future years as well.
We need your help to keep fun at Loud, Live, and Independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.